So we're going to talk about the analysis of a clean wall lighted place by Ernest Hemingway. And the problem of this analysis is to analyze how Hemingway uses literary elements and techniques to develop how the setting portrays the meaning of a man's existence. But first, let's look at the title, A Clean Wall Lighted Place. Um, if we just look at the title without reading the story first, we can infer that it's mentioning the setting of the story. And the story will take place somewhere where it's clean with good lighting. And it can also mean that the setting um, is the only place that's clean in contrast to everything outside of the world. So the first paragraph, it was very late and everyone had left the cafe. So the cafe is the setting that the title mentions in the story. And as we can imagine, it's going to be clean and well lighted, except an old man. So an, the old man is one of the characters in the story where he always comes in to the cafe and he never leaves. And he's waiting on by uh, the two waiters, which are other characters in the story. And they always wait on him for him to leave the cafe because he's always there um, during the night where it's late. And um, he's always too drunk to pay and he leaves without paying. So they start talking about him. And they, uh, one of the waiters said that last week he tried to commit suicide. So from the dialogue of the waiters, we can um, infer that the old man must be really lonely or uh, depressed. And this can serve as the theme of the story. So um, throughout the story into the next paragraphs, the two waiters are talking about getting rid of, getting rid of, of the old man from their cafe. So when one of the waiters started being really um, rude to the old man because he knows the old man is deaf and he can't hear anything he's saying. So he said uh, he should have killed himself last week. So this is like the tone of the story. Um, and from the attitude of the waiter, we can um, really infer that the old man is always there and he's a common customer in the cafe. So. Um, the story, uh, the tone will be objective and uh, straightforward when he says that he should have killed himself. So Hemingway doesn't really place any judgments on the characters, but rather gets straight to the point of who they really are and their emotions. So, And he always leaves it clean and unapologetic. And throughout the story, we get to see uh, the two characteristics of the young waiter and the old waiter. And their characterization is in contrast to each other. They're really opposite, such as the young waiter is really insensitive. He's neglectful. Um, he's rude and he's self-centered in the story. So um, he said, you should have killed yourself last week to the old man. And he's being really insensitive. And um, this reveals the thoughtlessness of the youth because all he cared about in the story was going home. Um, going home to his wife. It tells us that he's too self-centered to see that one day he too will become an old man and um, he will want someone to understand him. And we can depict that the characterizations of the young waiter as rude because of how he was talking to his wife, such as, um, you can't tell, he might be better with the wife. He's talking about the old man and why he's lonely. And he said, I wouldn't want to be that old. An old man is a nasty thing. And he's being uh, really rude and self-centered, I want to go home to bed um, more to me than to him. So he doesn't really um, think that an hour or a day is worth the old man's life because he's getting old anyway, and he thinks that um, he's just going to die in the end. So throughout the story, he talks to the old waiter about how he, wa he wants to go home to his wife and how he doesn't want the old man to stay there later than usual. And... Um, from the response of the old waiter, we can understand that he's really relatable to the old man. And because he said that he's lacking everything but work and he's never had confidence and he's not young. And we can um, characterize him as someone who is concerned and he registers awareness. And he also visualizes the terrors of human existence, loneliness and old age. So the characterizations of the two waiters stand in contrast to each other, although they work in the same cafe. And the young waiter stands in sharp ironic contrast with the old waiter who is conscious of um, the despairing implications of life and reflects on a larger scale with concern and empathy towards the old man. 
So we can, the other literary device um, in the story is symbolism. So symbolism in the story will be the cafe. And the setting of the cafe is kind of like a symbol for escape. So it's an idealized uh, space and um, good for lonely men to find some kind of comfort in the cafe. So the evidence, um, each night I'm reluctant to close up because there may be someone who needs the cafe. And um, with all those who need a light for the night. So a light for the night may, may be um, signifying the a light in darkness in people. So since the cafe is a good, well-lighted place, people with a really darkness in themselves, just like the old man, how he's depressed and lonely, um, he goes in the cafe because he needs a light um, to shine him up. And um, you do not understand, this is a clean and pleasant cafe. It's well-lighted. The light is very good. And also now there are shadows of the leaves. So um, the reason, one of the reasons why the old man comes into this cafe is because he's trying to find some kind of comfort in the cafe because it's well lighted and it's kind of like um the light chases away the darkness and uh, people it's technically like the light of the cafe and being drunk will push away the realization that human existence is nothing in the end and that it's temporary uh, so after he closed up the cafe the old waiter went into a bar and uh, he was talking to the um the barman and he said that it was all and nothing and a man was nothing too it was only that and light was all it needed and a certain cleanness and order so um, he's signifying that um death is inevitable to every human being and that human existence will be all nothing in the end so throughout the story, Hemingway uses a literary device such as symbolism of the cafe, tone of the story, theme, and characterizations to convey how the setting portrays the meaning of a man's existence.